Welcome to Grace Cathedral's live stream today. We hope you enjoy this stream and are blessed in a great way. Welcome to Grace Cathedral. I'm Reverend Steve Millar, and I pray that you had a wonderful day today. And now we're going to give you an update on our Growing in Grace mission program tonight. Reverend Chris Mockerman will be out a little bit later to join me. And him, him and myself are going to both be able to tell you all that the ministers are doing. We actually have six ministers, three new ministers. One is from Malawi, one is from Pakistan, and one is from South Africa, along with three updates. And two of the ministers are from Uganda, and the other one is from Botswana. So I pray that you'll be blessed many times over with these updates. These ministers are working very hard to get the gospel out. They're in great need of our support. And when we are able to send them Bibles in their language or send them literature, what a blessing and opportunity they have to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. So like I said, it's going to be an exciting night, and I pray that you'll be blessed many times over. And now we're going to go ahead and get started with the Grace Cathedral Orchestra, and they're going to be playing and singing, There is Power in the Blood. So please welcome them to the platform.
working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Wonderful job by the Grace Cathedral Orchestra. And friend, there is power in the blood for whatever you may need. If you have sickness in your body, if you need to be delivered of, of anything, there's power in the blood of Jesus to set you free. And just want to remind you to get those requests in. Go ahead and put it in the comment section, whatever prayer request you need. If you want to stand the gap for someone, please do so. You know, maybe you have a loved one that has a great need in their life. Well, there's power in the blood of Jesus and they can be set free. Whatever your need is or their need is, you can stand in the gap. Just let us know, put your request in. And at the end of the service, myself, Reverend Chris Mockamer, and many believers out in our audience tonight will be able to, to pull down heaven for whatever your need is. And now at this time, we have the morning stars and they're gonna be singing, Jesus Makes the Difference. So please welcome them to the platform. Shines a light of faith and leads them to the cross. He brings total freedom for those who are bound. He fills their hearts with perfect peace and turns their lives around. Jesus made the difference when he left the tomb behind. He brought complete deliverance for the body, soul, and mind. He won a life of freedom for all who seek his face. He brought the hope of heaven through our God's amazing grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus makes the difference. with gladness and fills my mind with hope. He's the cause of my contentment and the fullness of my soul. Jesus made the difference when he left the tomb behind. He brought complete deliverance for the body, soul, and mind. He won a life of freedom for all who seek his face. He brought the hope of heaven through our God's amazing grace. God's amazing grace. How amazing that He brought, brought the hope of heaven into our God's amazing, amazing grace. Amazing 
Beautiful song by the morning stars, and friend, Jesus does make the difference. And if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ in your heart, at the end of the service, you'll have an opportunity to receive Jesus in your heart. All you have to do is just pray with us and mean that prayer 100%, and Jesus will come into your heart. And now at this time, we have the singing gospels, and they're going to be singing, We're Living on Borrowed Time. So please give them a big God bless you. Share his love and grace. Redeem your gift of time. The harvest fields are ripe. We're living on borrowed time. Living on borrowed time. Borrowed, borrowed, borrowed. Living on borrowed time. Don't waste another day as the harvest fades away. The laborers are few. Can God depend on you? How much time each day you take to build? what you should then how much time each day would the lord declare you waste with things that tear you down no godly power is found my breath is not my own i live for you alone you've given me this time so jesus life will shine not long and we'll be home gathered round the throne until the coming day help me show the lost the way we're living on borrowed time Living on borrowed time, borrowed, 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 living on borrowed time. Don't waste another day as the harvest fades away. The laborers are few, can God depend on you? We're living on borrowed time, living on borrowed time, borrowed, 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 living on borrowed time. Don't waste another day as the harvest Laborers are few, can God depend on you? Each moment really counts to get the gospel out. The end is drawing nigh, we'll leave here with a shout. With a shout. We're living on borrowed time, living on borrowed time. Borrowed, 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 living on borrowed time. Don't waste another day as the harvest fades away. The laborers are few. Beautiful song by the Singing Gospels, and friend, we are living on borrowed time. The end time signs are all around us, and we know that we need to get this harvest in. The Lord is counting on each one of us. We do have that responsibility to tell others about Jesus, and that's what this Grown and Grace mission program is all about, telling others about Jesus, helping on our fellow, fellow Christians in Christ, you know, to Feed them the material that they need, the Bibles that they need. When they're going out into these villages, going into these hospitals, these prisons, just to win souls. Well, that's what this Jesus ministry is all about. Winning the lost at any cost. God is counting on us. So like I said earlier, we have that responsibility. And we are living on borrowed time. So at this time, I'd like you to get out your best for the Lord. God's blessed us many times over, and now we have an opportunity to give back, to help souls in their time of need, to be a blessing to others. 
Well, if you could, just remember that tithing is 10% of all the monies that you earn, but also giving in your love. Whatever God lays on your heart would be greatly appreciated in this final hour. You know, we need to get this harvest in. So we're going to have a wave offering, and those of you that are worshiping online with us, you can go ahead and wave your hands also with us before you hit that donate button. So at this time, let's all pull down heaven together. Lord, you see what they're waving at this time. Take what they're giving and multiply it back many times over. Open up the windows of heaven and pour down a blessing that they can't contain it all. Wrap your loving arms around each one of them. Let them feel your holy presence come upon them. In the blood name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you for giving. And those of you that are worshiping on the live stream, thank you for giving also. And now the ushers are coming your way, so please drop your monies in. And now we have the Country Gospel Band, and they'll be playing Higher Ground. So please give them a big God bless you. to stay where doubts arise and fears dismay though some may dwell where those abound my prayer my aim is higher ground lord lift me up up and let me stand stand a higher plane than i have found lord plant my feet on higher ground a gleam of glory bright but she will break till have i found lord plant my feet on higher ground lord lift me up and let me stand let me stand my faith on stand by stand on heaven's table i am higher higher than i have found lord plant my feet on higher ground higher ground lord lift me up and let me stand Stand by faith on stand heaven, stand by faith on heaven, stand by a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Higher ground, Lord, plant my feet on higher, higher ground. We're going to go ahead and have them sing and play that song one more time. So please welcome them back. to stay where doubts arise and fears dismay though some may dwell where those abound my prayer my aim is higher ground lord lift me up, me up and let me stand stand faith and stay the land a higher plane than i have found lord plant my feet on higher ground to 
to scale the utmost height and catch a gleam of glory bright. But she will break till heaven I found, or plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. Stand by faith on heaven's table. table. What a wonderful job by the Country Gospel Band, and we're blessed to have so much talent around here. And I just want to let you know, you know, just to remind you, if you can, you know, let us know who you are and where you're from. We have people worshiping them with us tonight from the Philippines, uh, Uganda, Germany, and Zimbabwe, and many other places. So I pray that you know, you're being blessed many times over with this wonderful gospel music. And now we have the singing men's gospel, oh, excuse me, the singing men's quartet, and they're going to be singing Say Jesus. So please welcome them to the platform. King of kings, he's the Lord of everything. Say Jesus, I love you so. When you wake up in the morning, let him know that you love him. When you're at the supper table, let him know that you thank him. When you go to bed at night time, make sure you pray to him. Say Jesus, I love you so. He's the Lord of everything. Say, Jesus, I love you so. Say, Jesus, 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 here to put your soul on fire. Say, Jesus, 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 that name will ever inspire. Say, Jesus, when you think of him, there's power in his name. Say, Jesus. Say, Jesus, I love you so. Say, Jesus, he's a bright and morning star. He's the same wherever you are. He's a master king of kings. He's the Lord of everything. Say, Jesus, I love you so. Beautiful song by the Singing Men's Quartet, and friend, there's so much power, there's so much love in that word, Jesus. When you say Jesus, you're being blessed many times over. The love of Jesus, the power of Jesus, the sacrifice that Jesus made for all of us so that we could have that opportunity to have eternal life in heaven. And like I said earlier, if you don't have Jesus in your heart, at the end of the service, we'll give you that opportunity to receive Jesus. And now at this time, we have Jeremiah and Allie Eisenbrom, and they're going to be singing, I'm Getting Ready. So please welcome them to the platform.
Yes, what a wonderful job by Jeremiah and Ali Eisenbaum. And now at this time, we have Reverend Chris Mockmer with us. So please give him a big God bless him. God bless everyone. It's great to be here, Reverend Steve. Yes, it's going to be an exciting night. We have yes. three new ministers along with three additional updates of other pastors. God is moving. Yes, and it's going to be an exciting night. And these ministers, they really, really make the sacrifice. They do. In one here is mentioned uh we'll get into tonight you know they even face persecution yes when they go out to distribute and shine the light of the gospel yes. but nothing deters them yes they they're 100 percent in they are and it's yeah. wonderful yes yeah. so the first minister i would like to bring to you tonight is a new minister and his name is pastor memory panja from uh, Blantyre, Malawi, and this is him here, and Pastor Memory Panja contacted us through Facebook. He requested prayer for musical instruments for his church and their spiritual growth. After prayer, he shared how God blessed them with musical instruments needed and how Reverend Angley's life and books have affected him down through the years. And you can see this is his church. And he writes, The two books, Faith in God, Heals the Sick, and Untying God's Hands, have meant so much to me and have changed my life. When I read them, I feel the presence of God. As in the book, Tying, uh, Untying God's Hands, I have been aware of the presence of angels. Reverend Angel has surely blessed my life through his books. I'm very much interested in receiving more to help others. After receiving literature, he told us, I'm encouraged and believe God is making a way for us. Pastor, uh, then he shared with us that uh, his congregation, 
was able to, he was able to distribute literature and they were grateful to receive it. Pastor Panja plans to travel to the northern part of Malawi and to share the gospel literature to win the lost. So he's going to take our literature with him and he's going to take Bibles and they're going to go there with his team and they're going to northern uh, Malawi uh, just to win souls. And he is so excited about the future and he, he asked God to continue to lead the way for him. So he wants to be led by the Lord and the Holy Spirit to go to the, spread the gospel and you know, come across souls and be able to pray with them, give them Bibles, you know, just show them a lot of love. Yep. And he actually has a video that he wants to show us at this time. Make sure you read them. I say salvation is just the beginning. This will help you in your spirit. It's a nice nice video of him passing out literature. And you know, Reverend Angie, years ago in the 90s, he, he went to Malawi on a couple of different occasions. Uh, Blantyre is located in the south of the country, and the long way, the other country he went to is in the north of the country. And I remember traveling between countries by vehicle. That was a very long trip. So for this pastor to travel up country to the north to distribute this literature that, that's quite a sacrifice for the pastor and our people should really appreciate that that they have a zeal and a hunger to win these souls even willing yes. you know, to take these long journeys and it's all about souls and winning the lost at any cost and and when these yep. ministers have that love of jesus in their heart they want others to, to receive Jesus. They receive that go ye, yes. you know, that Jesus gave his disciples. Go ye into the world, and that's what they're doing. Well, our next pastor is another new pastor, and this is Pastor Kaleem Bhatti from Pakistan. And here is the pastor and his wife. And Pastor Kaleem first contacted us last year wanting to have service with us. And he was blessed to hear that our beliefs lined up with the Word of God. So we invited him to join us for the live stream of our service. And now the pastor, he watches as often as he can with family and part of his congregation. And there you see them gathered together, joining us for service on the live stream. Then it was by watching the live stream of our service that he learned about our Growing in Grace mission program. And so he reached out to us wanting to be a part of it. And he messaged us, I want to work with your ministry. Please send me literature through your Growing in Grace mission program. We love you so much. If you can trust me and send all this, I promise I will never break your trust. And then he was excited, even more so, to know that the literature that we send is free of charge to him. And it's, it's donated in order to help him and his congregation. And he tells us that the area that he lives in and he works in is 99% other religions. And the Christians there are very poor because they can't find jobs. So they're up against a lot, but nonetheless, he's got that go ye. And when they got the literature, they began to work right away, uh, distributing the literature to as many people as possible. And at this time, uh, the pastor sent us this video of his congregation receiving the literature. Waiting in the name of the Lord Jesus, we are highly thankful highly esteemed pastor Ernest Angele we are very appreciates to you for this work here in Pakistan so thank you for descending this literature for Pakistan's Lahore Pakistan's people's 
So we are very highly thankful to you, sir. I am Pastor Kaleem and my wife, Pastor Ruksana. God bless you, sir. God be with you. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are truly amazed and we are truly thankful for the help of Ernest Endless Ministries in Pakistan. They are working really uh, hard and they are working uh, so amazingly that they have given us this literature. It is truly amazing that they are giving um, uh, this literature to the distance areas like Pakistan and we are also thankful to Pastor Kaleem and his wife. They have been working for so many years with the Sunday School and uh, we are truly thankful to their service as well. Once again, thank you so much Pastor Ernest Angeles Ministries that they have given us the beautiful literature of our God. Thank you. That's great. It is, and you think, you know, imagine if you were living in a country that was predominantly other religions. Ninety-nine percent. Yeah, you know. Uh, you're that one percent. You're that one percent, and, and you're, sure, being a pastor, no doubt you feel handcuffed because, you know, you can't get the Bibles you need. You can't get the literature you need. H how do you feed your congregation? Right, and how do you grow? How do you grow, uh, y you know? But then God makes the way for them, and they recognize that, and they're hungry. And not only do they want to just keep it all to themselves, but they want to share it. They want yes. to go out and help other yes. people. And that 1% can become 2%, and then 3%, and, yeah. and, and on, and on, and, and on. And on it goes. Yes. Definitely. Well, we also have some pictures here uh, of children praying. A, yeah, pictures of children praying. And here they are, mm -hmm. those little children, praying to the Lord, heads bowed. Puts a smile on your face. Yeah, hands lifted, honoring the Lord. He messaged us, the pastor did, saying, after reading your books and literature, people are blessed with many blessings. Our prayers are offered for you and your ministry. Thank you so much for this love for Pakistan. And also they're anticipating the arrival of more literature as they see the hand of God moving for the people in their area. And they want to reach as many souls as possible. That's and that's great. great. It is. It is. It, it is. And now we have a new minister that we'd like to introduce to you. And it's Pastor Lula Mile Hendricks from Parle, South Africa. And here he is. And he has communicated with us for a while. He was one of the interpreters for Reverend Angley's uh, crusade in South Africa in 2014. And you can see him here. Uh, he recalls Reverend Angie praying over him and felt the presence of God come over him. He said he has never been the same. And we actually have a video of him interpreting at Elsie's River in Africa. The rope broke that you were swinging on. And your tongue went broken, but you And your spine hit a rock. And of your you say it there. And you grew up. A rock's grow. It grew grow. In that awful condition. And of your endowed is left. Tried. You couldn't even bend over and touch your feet. And you can now. And you can use your foot to handle that. Your heels, saith the Lord. As my jaytan know. Yes, 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 yes. That's wonderful. It's, it's great to see Reverend Angley, and it, you know, what a blessing those crusades were. Yes, and you know, so many of these pastors, God's drawn them back, whether they were touched by a crusade or by some of Reverend's literature in the past, but it's like the Spirit's drawing them back to be a part of this program. Yes, we, we got to get in that final harvest. We do. Uh, Pastor Hendricks was so happy to have recently received the literature and has already gone with his team members to the streets to share it. His ministry is Good Shepherd Ministries, and you can see him here passing out literature. He is looking to God for guidance to lead his flock in the fear and wisdom of the Lord. They were 50 members, but have quickly grown to 100. They love sharing the word of God with the people on the streets of South Africa. And he writes, the literature is well received and is blessing our community. 
And it's wonderful to see how God continues to bless his ministry and community in these past months and the months ahead. So what a big blessing he is, and it's just wonderful to have all these ministers. Yeah, and so like you said with the last pastor, 1% can go to 2% yes, and yes. 3%, and a, his, his, his congregation doubled. doubled. Yes. And that's amazing what God is doing. People are hungry out there for truth. Well, now we have for you an update, and this is Pastor Samuel Masungwa from Uganda. And here is the pastor. And Pastor Samuel, he recently revisited Sigalu Island. And this is located in Lake Victoria. And the purpose being to follow up on the new converts and distribute more literature to the people. And after his journey, he messaged us. We went back to check on our new brothers in Christ who gave their lives to Jesus during our door-to-door -door evangelism mission to the island six months back. We thank God for being able to report that they are getting rooted in the Word of God and serving Him. So that's wonderful. They're seeing the fruits of their labor, labors from their past trip. And we also, from Pastor Samuel, have some pictures that he took at a primary school. And he let us know God opened the door for a visit to a local primary school soon after the lockdown lifted in Uganda. And there were around 300 students in addition to the staff. Many of them received salvation. And one of the teachers received a Bible and asked us to remember more students in the future to provide literature and Bibles for them. And you see them there? And it's wonderful that they have a hunger for the literature and the Word of God. And he let us know the principal says, I thank Almighty God for remembering us through Ernest Angley Ministry. So, you know, it's great. Even the principal of the school's acknowledging God and all this. Yes. And, and as you know, when we would go into the school, sometimes we'd go from classroom to classroom and we'd break up into teams or we'd just have a big, you know, they would all come together in, you know, like maybe a general they, assembly yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, like in a gym or just outside. Mm -hmm. And we'd be able to talk to them and preach with them. And, and it does pay because we would also have some groups that would go talk to the teachers or the, or the principal right. or the, the staff and be able to pray with them. So he's doing exactly what we were doing. Yeah, and, and there always seems to be a sincere hunger for, for God in places like this. And afterward, he reached out uh, to a different school that teaches another religion. And with holy boldness, he went forth to distribute the literature. And he said, few accepted the literature, while most began to mob him in the yard and throw stones. But God protected Pastor Samuel. And in spite of it all, he still has a great zeal and love for the children of any religion. And his desire is to get to these children. And he asks for your prayers towards these children. And that's wonderful that he holds no resentment or grudges or bitterness, but that we pray yes. for those children that, so that he can get the literature to them. And that's what we're supposed to do. That's yeah. God's love. That's right. Yeah. Well, the next pastor, we'd like to give you an update. It's Pastor Simon Malama from... Francis Town, Botswana. Uh, he joined the Growing in Grace Mission Program when, he, when it first started. So he's been with us from the very beginning. But with the lockdown and strict COVID restrictions in Botswana and health issues, he was limited. However, he re remained in contact with us and put prayer requests for his physical healing. God is moving. Where he was once almost entirely unable to walk and get around. He is now going forth with the literature and Bibles. He is so grateful to God for his miracle power. And you can see here him passing out Bibles and literature. And he says, thank you for, this, for standing with me in prayer. I'm doing much better. Pastor Simon says that 
He was greatly blessed to have the opportunity when Reverend Angley came to his hometown of Livingstone, Zambia in the early 90s to be the secretary responsible for publications of the crusade. From that time on, he has read many of Reverend Angley's books and says that it is what has brought him to where he is today. So he recognizes of Reverend Angley's teachings. Mm -hmm. And then God has opened the doors to nearby villages where he plans to plant two churches to reach the remote villages with the word of God. So he has a big go ye also, you know, right. to, to build two churches. What a huge blessing or opportunity to establish those churches. And then Pastor Simon knew the power of prayer and was grateful for the blessed cloths that could give and give and ex that he was able to give out and explain to his congregation how they could receive a healing through the power of God. And then he's going to, we have a video of him, you know, sharing the blessed cloth and explaining it. Then you can read what it means if you keep it. Okay, yeah, it's yours. Okay. And uh, uh, who can explain it in Kalanda profile? So, okay, bless God. Uh, explain this verse. She can put whatever she's affected in this white one. She not lose it. Yeah, it is scripture. So it has been prayed for. That's wonderful. Yeah. And then he goes on to write, yes, give the Lord a praise, but yes, he goes on to write and says, please pray for me for God's wisdom and anointing. I value the spiritual materials and Bibles you send, just like the man of God, Reverend Angel, used to say in the Gospel Crusades, when people receive their miracles, God did it. We give him all the glory. And that's one thing that Reverend Angie would say in the Crusades. He would even turn to the audience and say, who did it? And they would say, Jesus. Jesus. It's always important to lift up Jesus. And I like what he said in this message. He felt the need. Uh, he realizes he has a greater responsibility now with this literature. And so he feels that need for more anointing, for more wisdom from God that he can be able to handle this greater opportunity and this greater responsibility yes. that he has before him now. And now, for our final update, we have Pastor Ernest Weary from Uganda. And Brother Ernest, well, he's not stopped crossing Uganda with Bibles and literature. And s since the lockdown has lifted, well, he's just going forth preaching in churches, going to schools, universities, even conducting Bible studies with youth, just whatever he can do to go forth, distribute the literature, and share the message of Jesus Christ. And he let us know, I must work hard and utilize time properly to reach more people to ensure that all is accomplished. And, you know, Brother Ernest, he recognizes we live on borrowed time. Yes. And what we do for the Lord, we got to do quickly. And he's a go-getter. He is. And some students have reached out to him further to receive a Bible. You know, they've, they got the literature from him, but they wanted more. They wanted a Bible in their language, as well as the literature. And, you know, by God's grace, through this program we're able to get brother Ernest Bibles in the local language of the people and we have a video right now of distribution of literature and Bibles souls are really uh, broken out there so 
it's better when you have something, a material that will help someone yes. know how to guard their mind. Always ready to work for the Lord in any avenue he can. And, you know, the schools are so grateful for Brother Ernest coming in, uh, giving the literature out. And many of the students, they've given their heart to the Lord, so he's seen fruit from this. And we also, at this time, have some pictures from Sarati Prison. And a couple of months ago, we reported how Brother Ernest visited Sarati Prison. And they only allowed the literature to be delivered and a picture to be taken from the outside due to the COVID restrictions. However, we have here at the ministry received a letter from the rehabilitation officer. Part of it reads, we recognize you for the support to prison institutions in preaching the word of God. We gladly inform you that prayers and teachings are continuing, whereby staff and inmates are getting saved overwhelmingly. We extend our sincere appreciation for your love and support. So even in light of the restrictions, the lockdown, the pastor couldn't get in to minister, the material got in there and it still did. God's work. And that's a great report. That is a I mean, great report. For them to receive Jesus Christ and for yeah. them to receive so much from that literature. And you know, in the literature, you know, Reverend Steve, in the back of just mm -hmm. about every book is the sinner's prayer, mm -hmm. to pray along with it, and a healing prayer and so forth. Right. It's, you know, the Holy Spirit laid it all out for Reverend Angie to, to have it all set up. And, you know, after you read, you know, a giant little book, like you said, in the back of that is the sinner's prayer. Yep. Now, the door also opened to deliver literature to the Masaku prison. And Brother Ernest has already received feedback that the prisoners, as he put it, are studying and digesting the literature and making changes in their lives. So the truth in that literature, like a sword, it's cutting out all that's wrong in their lives, and the lives are changing there. And Brother Ernest also, he had the opportunity to return to Jinjamain prison, where he received more testimony of what God is doing. And we have a video of that. I work as assistant welfare at Ginjamin Prison. I want to appreciate God, give him all the glory um, for having met Pastor Ernest Buire. And the, right from the time he came to our unit, a lot that we can talk about that he has done as a man of God uh, for all the Bibles that he has brought for us. We are really very grateful indeed because these are the tools that we really need and I believe that as we continue moving together some of these people will go out as men of God that will change the world. I want to thank God and appreciate him for everything that he has ever given us. May God bless him richly. Thank you so much. I want to take this opportunity to thank the Lord who brought our pastor, Ernest Guire. And actually, since that man came here in Virginia Mini Prison, our life has never remained the, the same. But right now, I know even I will leave prison because right now I have faith. He talked about to our Lord Jesus Christ to, uh, as he's going to prepare for us a place we, where we shall be. And I know very well that we who accepted Jesus Christ, that is where we are going to be with him. And I thank him so much because I have now known that Jesus is going to prepare for us a place to stay. Thank you so much. May God bless you. 
They're so grateful. Yeah. And, you know, all the people out here that, that sponsor this program, these are your fruits. You know, when you're, you know, able to give this Growing Grace program, you're listening to these minors or these uh, prison uh, inmates and how their, their lives are being changed. In, in the fruits, as we have said before, multiply. Because as he indicated, you know, how many of these will become men of God, ministers right, themselves, right. and then go forth, being released from prison and do a work. Yes, and, and Brother Ernest, you know, just think, he's inspiring these, these gentlemen. Right. You know, because the, he was in the same position that they were in. And before him was Peter and Degwa. Yes. Who he got saved in prison. Yes. So the, the fruit continually grows so much so that it'll take heaven to understand, really, all that's done. Yes, it, it's the Holy Spirit just bringing people and, and realizing that, that we can save so many people through the Holy Spirit and giving to this program. Yep. And these ministers are able to touch so many souls that we can't go everywhere, you know, yep. but they, they're already there. They want to be a part of this program. And we're adding more and more people all the time. And like we just read off, you know, three additional new pastors. So this is all growing. Yes, it is. And we got more new pastors to introduce in the future. Yeah, so this is a very exciting program. And, and friend, I pray that you are blessed tonight. And, you know, maybe you don't have Jesus Christ in your heart. Well, you heard about these prisoners who accepted Jesus Christ and how their lives have changed. Well, it doesn't matter what you've done in the past. You have an opportunity right now to ask Jesus in your heart. Pray with us and say, oh God, oh God, save my soul. Save my soul. Forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my sins. But I have come home, I have come home. to serve you the rest of my life. And I believe that the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus washes away all of my sins. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Amen. Friend, if you meant that prayer, Jesus will change your life. You'll be a brand new creature in Christ now. Go tell others about Jesus. Just like we're hearing about these ministers and other people are telling others about Jesus. They're making that sacrifice. I pray that the Lord leads you to make that sacrifice. And now at this time, those of you that put your request in or those of you that need prayer, let's go ahead and put your hand on your listening device. The Bible says believers will lay, sick on the, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Myself and Reverend Chris right next to me. We're going to pull down heaven along with all these believers in our sanctuary and all the believers that are worshiping with us tonight on, on the live stream. Friend, it doesn't matter what sickness or disease may be in your body. God made you. He can heal you. Lord, Heavenly Father, you know what their need is. Break their bondage and set them free in the blood name of Jesus. We curse every sickness, every disease in their body. Heal them in the holy blood name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Heal them in the holy blood name of Jesus. Amen. Friend, always look for every sign of improvement and good God the praise, the honor, and the glory. And make sure you tell others about your great miracle that you received. And now at this time, I'd like all of you to stand up and come this way. And we're going to call down a great anointing upon each and every one of you. And those of you that are, uh, would like to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, whether it's here and we have great altar workers can work with you, or you're on the live stream, I'd like to encourage you to seek for the baptism on the Holy Ghost, for the Holy Ghost on the live stream. We've heard testimony after testimony that people have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost just on our live stream. All you have to do, no matter where you're at, if you're at home, just start praising Him one glory right after another. Maybe you're in your living room, maybe you're in your bedroom. It doesn't matter. 
The Holy Spirit is here for you. So just start praising him, one glory right after another, and let him come on in and take over your tongue and speak in the heavenly language. Lord, Heavenly Father, I call down this great anointing upon the people. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. And start praising them, friend. Just start lifting up those praises. One glory right after another. One glory right after another. Glorifying the King. Glorifying Jesus. Yes, just open up. Let him take over your tongue. Yes, let him bless you. Let that power go all through your body. Just you in Jesus. Just you in Jesus. Glorifying the King. Praise in Jesus. Lifting up those praises from your heart to heaven. Glorifying Jesus. Glorifying the King. Yes, friend. Just yielding on over. This is what he wants. A yielded vessel. Glorifying Jesus. Glorifying the King. Lifting up those praises. Let him bless you. Let him bless you. Let him bless you. Glorifying Jesus. Glorifying the King. Yes, lifting up those praises. Just you and Jesus. Just you and Jesus. Glorifying Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Praising Jesus. Oh, glory, glory, glory to Jesus. We praise your holy name. We praise your holy name. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, Lord, to move. Oh, Lord, to bless each one. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory to Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise you, Jesus. Glory, find Jesus. Glory, find Jesus. Oh, Stay. 